Welcome back to the Cigar Cellar. Uh, you've seen a lot of our posts recently, lately, about bringing this thing to life. And here it is, as you can, as you can look around and see. We've tried to build the most uh, welcoming, comfortable, premium cigar experience in, um, in Georgia. And the way we've done that is we've learned from all over the country, from the Ewan Reese's in uh, Chicago to the, to the Nicky Blaine's in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, all over the country we see the, the great standards of cigar smoke uh, smokers and where they gather and why they gather. And that was the most important piece of this, is the brethren to get together with some high-end spirits and some really high-end food and a high-end atmosphere to enjoy each other and learn and hear the stories. In doing that, we had one priority. My, my, my highest priority in putting this thing together was the fact that we had to have a not smoky environment, right? It had to be a not smoky environment. So even though you're a cigar smoker, you don't want to go home with your clothes all smelling like cigar smoke. Some people won't even walk into a cigar bar because of that, even cigar smokers, especially ladies. When we want sophisticated men to come in and they want to bring their wives or significant other, we can't expect them to want to come into a place like this and expose them to going home with hair that they have to wash five times before they go to bed because it smells like cigar smoke. So, so to, to make that number one priority, we researched and researched what the best places in the country were doing. And we couldn't get enough information on the consistency of that because the people that were in the industry were treating it a little different than we wanted to treat it. And we wanted virtually no smoke in here. And so my experiences with my different businesses have led me to a place where right now I have three million square feet of warehouse space. And I know that we turn our warehouse space over and the air has to change over and change over and change over. And so I was trying to figure out how we did that as I had all of the HVAC guys come in and all the humidor guys come in and all the air handling guys come in and tell me I needed 60 tons of air conditioning on the roof of this place to get the kind of air changes I want. And I wanted 20 air changes an hour. 20 air changes an hour gives us an air evacuation of the entire room every three minutes. And we believe that is a good standard with a high cube like this to give us a virtually smoke-free environment. But the expense of putting 60 or 80 tons of air conditioning to keep up with that kind of a velocity um, is astronomical. So we forgot all the experts and we went to the drawing board on our own. And uh, first thing we did was we created big ass fans. So I bought, I've always wanted to have a big ass fan. I've got it in my warehouses, but I've never had the retail version, the really cool slick, slick versions because you get on the app and you can speed them up, slow them down, turn them upside down and everything. So we put four big ass fans in here and I've got my own four big ass fans in this place. And when you come in, you'll see them. They're pretty cool. They're slick. They're black, but they're cool. So now we've got the air, we can move it down or up and we can do it in different areas with different directions depending on where the airflow, where the people are smoking and where they're not. So we've got that figured out, but that still doesn't get the air out of the, out of the room. That's coming, wait. So now we had to figure out how to get the air away from everybody and out of here. In the physics, smoke rises, right? Heat rises, smoke rises. So we knew that we had to have something in the ceiling, not high on the wall, in the ceiling. And we sat here and looked up from where I'm sitting right now and we noticed, and you'll see these here in a second, there were two big skylights just above our heads, right? And now you notice there's only one. So we, um, we called the, the exhaust fan guys that we use in our warehouses and said, we need an exhaust fan to fit this space. And I think it was four by four. And it has to do two things for us. It has to give us at least 9,000 cubic feet per minute of speed. So evacuated 9,000 cubic feet per minute of smoke out of here. And it has to be variable speed. I'm sorry, third thing, it has to be quiet. Now, I knew I could get the variable speed and I knew I could get the, the speed speed. Didn't know if we could get the quiet. So we studied decibel levels and we have charts on, this, on these fan motors and speeds and we had to look at everything to try and figure out at different speeds how much, how much air we'd be moving and how much noise it would make. So now we have a, now we have a dilemma because if we have them on full all the time, we're taking all of the conditioning out of this room, so all the heat and air goes out. So now we have to have that fan working only as fast as we need to to evacuate the smoke. But if we're turning up all the way up to 9,000 cubic feet a minute, now we have a vacuum problem. So if we close the doors, you won't be able to open them. They'll be stuck because of the vacuum we created here, right? It'll, it'll actually blow the doors in in the warehouses. We're gonna have a valve to do that. 
And that valve is that big, huge open window over there across the bar. And so that's an indoor outdoor bar that the glass slides all the way across. And so now we have a variable speed fan that controls this. We have controllable intake to mitigate our loss of air conditioning and heat. And we have a fan that can, we can turn all the way up and not, still not overcome conversation or music that might be playing at the time. So if you'll notice, Matt here smoking, watch, this, watch the smoke in the cigar. So when two of us are smoking in the same place, what are you smoking, Matt? I'm smoking a Perdomo 20th anniversary. Very nice. My first time with a stick. Got a lot of good flavor, a lot of smoke coming out of it. I'm on one of my favorites, one of my go-tos. That's Drew Estates, Herrera Esteli, um, the white label. Love the Brazilian cut as well. So well, here we are with the smoke and there's no exhaust fan on. Now, I'm gonna ask our, our accountant slash chef slash bartender slash head server slash actual general manager, Jimmy DeGreek, to slowly dial this, this, um, this fan up. So we're gonna turn it on. We turn it on, the louvers will open. And as the louvers open, it gives us conduit to the outside and it starts to suck the air out. And as he speeds it up, the louvers get straighter and straighter. So we have laminar airflow instead of turbulent airflow and it'll just suck the smoke right out of here. So Jim, if you would, crank it up. So there we go, we got opening. And here goes your smoke. Now those big ass fans are pulling the smoke very slowly up towards, up towards the ceiling. And the fan is gonna to start to grab it. It'll, it'll start to circle the room as far as the airflow as the air comes in from the outside and the lower end of the room in the higher end of the room, and you notice all that smoke that was filling the air right here, is now gone. And you see how fast the smoke is taking a path straight up to the ceiling and straight out of the room. And so, that was our number one priority. And we had 50 people in here last week uh, in a Frank Sinatra show that we had. And there were, oh, well, at least at least 15 women, maybe 20, in that group. We didn't get a single complaint a single concern and we polled many of them and they were all thrilled in how this is working. So we couldn't be happier. So we've made an environment that's welcoming to all and we would, we would enjoy it for everybody to come in and tell us how we did on uh, the fan. Now the contest we're going to have is to name the fan and its sisters the four big ass fans. So we have an exhaust fan which I call, what do I call it, smoke, smoke, Smokosaurus? Smokosaurus? And then we have the big ass fans which are, you really don't want to rename the big ass fan. It's kind of, it's a branding thing. So come see us. Come see us and check out Smokasaurus.